Hi there. My name is Zach Tedford, and this is the Project Tedford YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I wanted to take a look at you know how much does putting in a second wall in between rooms in your house how much does that decrease the sound? Um, specifically, we're doing this for a garage wood shop. Um, area we measured the decibels for when I was cutting wood in the house and we're using a very non-scientific this is just an, an app you can download on your iPhone uh, this is an app actually used for, for uh, babies and for detecting how loud it is in a room uh, for those babies um, and that's kind of part of the purpose of this project is we have a sleeping baby and we want to make sure that uh, I can work in the wood shop and we're not going to wake up a sleeping baby. So what we're going to do here is we are going to, you know, we have the existing um, wood frame. There's no insulation on that middle portion of the wall, uh, but then there's a normal set of drywall. Well, we're going to go ahead and put in um, a one inch air gap, install more framing with insulation this time, um, and then we're going to use 5 8 inch thick drywall on the outside of that. And as you can see here, this is what it looks like once we've um, got everything cleaned out. Alright, after that we're doing some basic framing here. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, my my garage floor is uneven, or at least the house is built unevenly, and so each area where I measured 2x4s was actually a little bit different. So normally you would build this entire thing on the ground and lift it up, but because my garage is a little bit different, I went ahead and measured each individual stud, cut those studs to size, and then installed them, and I used toe screws here. I'm not a professional framer, um, not a professional at most of the stuff in this video, so uh, I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but uh, this worked well for, for this project. All right, and as you can see here, I installed some electrical, um, just a couple outlet boxes. Um, once again, I'm not a professional electrician. Uh, I didn't really want to show how this comes together. Uh, I don't want to leave anybody wrong. I've been doing electrical for a long time, so I'm very comfortable with it. And I am sure that all my stuff is up to code, but at the same time, I don't feel comfortable recommending this because this could be the the most dangerous part of the install. Alright, what I'm doing here is I'm going through with a product called Green Glue. Uh, this is a soundproofing um, caulking. Um, normally this goes between two different sheets of uh, drywall uh, when you're trying to do a soundproofing process, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and fill gaps in any spot where noise and vibrations could be coming through that wall, so I went through and hit all the gaps, uh, any hole that I could in the wall. Alright, as you can see here, this is just some basic um, insulation going in. Um, this is going to help with the sound deadening, make sure that everything is, uh, um, you know, stops those vibrations, those no noise, sound waves as they try to project through the wall. Alright, what we have here is we finished um, the insulation and we're getting ready to put the drywall in. Um, these little pieces of block um, scrap wood 
are a great tool for making sure that your drywall is even and gives you an assist for holding that drywall in place, especially this 5 8 inch thick uh, drywall. This is pretty heavy stuff. And as you can see here, uh, this is my brother Drew. He and I are um, go ahead and um, installing all this drywall. Uh, once again, I'm not a professional drywall installer. Uh, there's definitely issues along the way and some gaps and stuff that a professional would not have. Uh, but I think I did a good enough job to clearly represent this extra wall and uh, to have a good result for um, whatever sound dampening would come out of this. All right, right here we're you know, installing some uh, fiberglass tape for some of the drywall joints. Uh, that's really just a fill. Um, once we finished with that portion, we came back in with actual paper drywall. You want paper drywall at all your joints as much as possible. Um, that's just to avoid future cracking and whatnot. Um, once again, I'm not a professional and this part is probably the biggest area that I struggle with, uh, but I think I did uh, a good enough job to, to complete this wall. Um, it's by, by no means a professional drywall insulation, but, uh, but for, a, for a homeowner, do it yourself. I think any, if I can do this, anyone, anyone can do this, you can do this. At this point in time, we're throwing on our coat of primer and getting ready to paint this wall. Um, this wall actually kind of stands out in my garage because the, the paint is so vibrant and the old walls in that garage are, uh, are, still, uh, are still old and yellowed from time. Um, I wanted to add that on top of you know doing this wall, I also went into the... To the attic above the garage and also installed insulation up there as well to help with the problem. All right, so what is our final results after this? Um, well, before we saw, you know, an average of 45 decibels. Um, the average dropped to about 38, so about a decrease of 7 decibels. And our peak um, dropped from about 55 decibels down to 50 decibels. So a decrease of about five decibels. Once again, this isn't scientific, um, but you know I think this this meter that we're using is a, at least a repetitive meter, um, so we're getting repetitive results. So I think you know I think overall this is uh, what you should expect from doing a single a single extra wall. Now, if you want to increase this. Uh, there's a several other things that I could have done to increase the sound dampening, um, but this this will work for my purposes here. Um, what you could do is you could also put a second layer of drywall on your under wall, um, and then on top of that second wall, you could also put in a second layer of drywall. And now they do also make um, sound dampening insulation and sound dampening drywall. Um, but when I went to Lowe's and Home Depot and looked at that, the cost of that was four or five times what the cost of normal insulation and drywall. So I would recommend sticking with your normal insulation and drywall. But uh, if you, you know, if you have the budget, I think that those products out there would definitely do a better um, job of dampening the. The, the, the sound for your wood shop or whatever it is that you're trying to dampen the sound from. Um, well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a brand new channel, but um, if you liked the video, um, please subscribe. Um, hit the like button. Um, hit the bell notification. I'm trying to pump out videos. I, I've got a bunch of awesome projects in mind that I'd love to make into videos. And yeah, if uh, if you do. Stay tuned, I got some more videos on the way.